Hi there, YouTube friends. This is Lester here, and I am going to give you guys a review on the Amazon Knife one year later. Uh, my very first successful YouTube video was an Amazon Knife review uh, that I did in February of 2018. We're now here in uh, April of 2019, and I am happy to give a one-year review on the Amazon Knife. Amazon Kitchen is a YouTube channel that I thoroughly enjoy and I think every human being should subscribe to. It's great. Those guys are doing a great job, but they do um, offer a knife uh, that they sell through their Facebook page and it's like three, approximately $300. It's crazy ridiculous and it always will be. And... One year later, I'm still really happy with it. I want to talk about it a little bit. I want to tell you what I exactly what I use it for, if I've had any issues with it. But what I can tell you is the knife that I have underneath me here is still a pretty good knife. The knife. What can I tell you about this knife? Do I think it's beautiful? Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Okay. What I do think is pretty decent metal and I'm not an expert on knives or metal but it's a good possibility this may have been a p a large piece of metal maybe was used and then a you know I guess maybe this shape was cut out and then maybe this was put into a fire and hammered to give the look and um then it was sharpened and it had a handle put on it uh, the handle is real wood, and you got to imagine it took some skill and some craftsmanship to shape this handle. It took some time and effort to cut the shape of the knife out, to sharpen the knife, and to give it the look, to set these pins and have everything right. So there's definitely labor that went into this. Um, this isn't something that just came off of an assembly line. This was handmade. So over the last year... Uh, this knife is definitely handy. Um, it feels really good in my hand. That Man, that's so important, you know. Um, it's a tool. It's going to be in your hands. It f the handle feels good. It doesn't feel too big. It doesn't feel too small. And it's comfortable. And I can wield the knife how I need to. Good knife. I had it sharpened once, as I talked about in my first video at Frank's Cutlery, excuse me, Cutlery and Towson. Knife, I've I've uh, ran across a sh leather strop a few times, and that's it. It's still super sharp. I use this knife when I'm cutting onions, green peppers, and tomatoes. Those are main vegetables that I eat in my kitchen. And I'm always so glad to have this knife because after I cut my vegetables, I can scoop it up and put it in the um, put it in the frying pan. So I really like that it's big and wide like that. And I love using it when I cook steak because I cut my steak with this and it glides through really thick um, ribeye steaks, all kinds of uh, different cuts of steaks. This thing uh, glides right through, no no problem. I can still dice um, vegetables really fine with it and uh, I can you know cut tomatoes really thin with it it's a good worker it's a good knife but hey you get a sheath with it you got to imagine the time it took to make the sheath I felt oh look the there my old video it just started playing yeah there's the original video if you guys want to check that out it did really well 11,279 views since February of 2018 93 people liked it. Hey, that's great. It's way better than thumbs down. So, um, but yeah, the knife, back to the knife, the sheath, right? Look at the stitching, the leather. Somebody had to cut that out. Somebody had to stitch that together with a machine and put all the, the hardware on there. You see that? That took some time. So you're getting the sheath, you're getting the knife. There was time put into it. The knife is nice and heavy. I like the heavy. I like the heaviness to it. This was the bushcraft version. You can see it's thick. I brought it to a guy. Brought the edge down. Made the edge real sharp and real nice. Frank's Cutlery, Towson, Maryland. Frank is a nice guy and he did a good job. 
on my knife here. One year later, no rust. I wipe it off after I use it. Um, I don't get crazy with soap and stuff. I just kind of just wipe it off uh, with a rag, with a wet rag, and then I put it back in the sheath. And uh, the handle is totally solid and fine. It's just like the day I got it. And I, I do use it a lot, so I'm, you know. Anyway, uh, thanks for checking out this video. A darn good knife. It feels darn good in my hand. It's got good weight to it. I still like it, and I think it's just cool. I uh, would appreciate a like and a subscribe would be out of this world. Thanks for checking out the video, and uh, good luck on your knife shopping, and I hope you uh, find the the best uh, deal for you. Peace. Take care. Bye-bye.